So it seemed to have unearthed an issue with the UI where ESXi host client pointing to this same system, a 12 core system here. So if we go back to host view, you'll see here's the system. It's ESXi 7.0, BIOS 2.1. Yeah, when we go to configure PCIe pass through, uh, there's a problem. So here's the problem. After a reboot, it always shows like this. Enabled needs reboot. Gladly, I can get around the problem, and I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, while it's in this state, can't even turn on the VM. So that's bad because it can't find a PCIe device that's inside there. Now let's cut over to ESXi's, sorry, let's cut over to vSphere client, HTML5 interface. And that's how it looks. We go back to summary tab, you see the same system. Great. Now let's go back to configure. Scroll on down to PCI devices, and you'll see only one. Watch what happens here. Scroll down, we can see a checkbox for one of the two AMD. You need both on, and it's like whack-a-mole. Only one or the other goes on. So my workaround was kind of crazy. Couldn't boot this VM, and I really need this VM. So let's head back to host client. Here's the workaround. You go into host client, and uh, yeah, let me show you the settings of the VM. It has two PCIe devices it's looking for, one missing right now, right? So let's go back to manage. Sorry, I'm jumping around here. Toggle this. Okay, both go on. And here is the issue, that's right. Just merely clicking on it does nothing, right? It just selects it, and it selects both in this case. As soon as you hit toggle pass through, watch the status, scroll down. Uh, where did it go? I scrolled right past it. Sorry about that. There you go. Pass through is disabled. Successfully toggled pass through for devices. Arg. Toggle pass through again. Enabled for both. You see that? <laughs> All right. Phew. So now we go back to vSphere client. Let's see how things are looking over there. They're good. All right. And that means the VM here is probably happy as well. So let's uh, let's configure that VM. New vSphere 7 UI. Uh, we're not quite there yet. It's still not going to boot because this device shows not available. So we're getting closer though. I'm going to remove both. This is scary. I have a backup of the VMX file and a backup of the VM. So it's not that scary. It's just time would be my enemy if I had to restore all that. Add new device. Okay. That's one done. Next one, add device. PCI device again. And add the other. Hmm. So notice it's the same thing twice. So that's alarming. How am I going to get out of this? How about we go back to host client and see if we have any better luck there? Dismiss this, dismiss this. Hit refresh. They're still both active, so we should be okay. This is how scary it is every time I have to reboot my ESXi server at this point on 7.0. Um, I did not have these issues on 6.7 or update 1 on 6.7 or update 2 or update 3. So it's just surfaced in, in 7.0. So it feels like I've got you know, a bug I've stumbled into. So now I'm going back in the VM. Let's see if we can get PCI devices added there. Okay. All right, we're okay now. It has a drop-down menu. We're able to add each device one at a time. Okay, we got video, we got audio. We can save it. And now I'm going to be able to power on that VM. We're watching the bottom here to see if the power on succeeded. Because there's reserved memory, it takes a little extra long to boot it. But we're good. So that's it. My crazy um, strangeness on a, a, admittedly a dot zero release of 7.0 pertaining specifically to PCIe pass-through. Probably something to do with the new features. Uh, you saw there was new features with GPU there. This is an AMD GPU, though, so nothing to do with NVIDIA or GRID. Just a single device passed through right through to the VM. So that's it. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.